name is Gloria Guerrero. I'm the Chief Operations Officer of Factico, a technology startup that develops platforms to promote citizen participation and freedom of speech in Mexico. Last year, when I was finishing my program here at Haiti, I my even my perspective around social media and digital platforms changed completely. I realized during what I was doing in my thesis about fake news and what was going on with Facebook and Cambridge Analytica, etc., that the real problem was that this idea of viral distribution and the low cost of production was really like damaging our societies and was a big, big issue that we were not addressing in a good way. So I spent the summer in Rio, it's not that I'm complaining, <laughs> and I was Fin and, I'll, and I worked with a research institute there to identify how the global south was responding to these issues and how in our very specific cultural context and very chaotic societies, we were adapting to technology. So I went back to Mexico with this like question on my mind. How can we use technology in a region that is highly affected by corruption scandals, low trust in, governing, in governmental institutions, and low participation of the youth population. And suddenly when I was there, one month later, this happened. The earthquake that hit the Mexico City on September 19, and that was uh, like a wake up call. And on the next day, there was this massive network on social media trying to organize all the efforts and to coordinate all the food and clothes and stuff that was being collected to help the people that lost it all. So at that very moment, I said, well, maybe the problem are not the platforms, but the purposes. So if social media can really change and can really make us go out to the street to help our neighbor, but even sometimes we don't know who he is, but these big moments are like an opportunity to use technology for good. And under that context, I start co-leading Factico. It's a startup that creates platforms to promote citizen participation, and basically that tries to connect technology with communities. Our most ambitious project is Liga Politico. That is this crowdsourced database that compiles the profile of 20,000, 21,000 candidates running for office. And the elections are this summer in July. And there are 18 million young people that are going to vote for the first time. So that's massive. And that's the only way in which we are going to be able to change who's in power and to influence what's happening in our country. So this platform has two aspects. The first one is this crowdsourced database that and we collect all the experience from NGOs, academia, uh, private uh, actors, so they can complete the profiles of these people that are running for office and that sometimes we don't even know. That's the first part. And the other one, the other part of the project is this gamification idea. How do we engage with these 18 years old young people that are going to vote for the first time? They don't know anything about politics and they are also tired of all these bad ideas and corrupt politicians. So through gamification, they can create the list of favorite candidates and it's that the app, like the website, sorry, uh, forces them to check the profile of each candidate so they can go to the next level. So it's this idea of mixing technology and innovation to promote and to have a real impact in, in what's going on in, in a country like Mexico. I'm really, really convinced that if we truly understand the intersection between data, technology, and policy, we can create like a better tomorrow, and we can really, really include everyone in this new era. So for me, this has been the only way in which we won't let anyone behind. So that's it. Thank you. <laughs>